Hi, welcome my dear students. In this video, we are going to learn how to configure Cisco Adaptive Security Appliance ASA for the use of IBV6. In this first video, we are going to build our workspace to start the configuration. Okay, let us start. First of all, we need to drag and drop the Cisco ASA appliance in your workspace. Of course, you need first to download the software and to configure uh, this software in the GNS. And there are, you know, uh, many tutorials on the Internet. You can go and follow the steps there to install uh, the Cisco ASA uh, any version you want but uh, the preferred version is 9 point something 9 and above okay then uh, drag the inside router which is R1 and the outside router this router will be router 2 will be configured as the ISP router which will connect our network to the internet but we will uh, use this uh, powerful uh, security appliance produced by Cisco to protect our network okay now I will connect the devices but first I need to uh, configure the cloud so drag cloud here okay this is the cloud I will call it internet here we'll change the host name to ISP router okay this is the inside part of our network and this is the outside part of the network so I will connect it from giga bit 00, zero to the router to the inside router which is fast Ethernet 00, zero and from gigabit 01 to the fast ethernet zero zero and from the router fast ethernet zero one to the cloud to the internet the labels to make sure that I'm using the correct interfaces okay very good now need some kind of arrangement here okay very good now this segment will take zero zero two zero zero one colon colon slash 64 this is the network segment IBV6 address of the network segment and the outside I will duplicate here and edit it and the outside will take this address outside this segment will take this address to a zero zero this actually a global unicast IBV6 address colon colon slash 64 okay this address this IBV6 address will be two zero zeros will be two zero zero one colon colon zero two and here here 
this interface will be 200, 2001, colon, colon, 1. Here. And this segment, this interface will take 2A00, colon, colon, 2. And this interface of ISP router will take 2A00, uh, zero, zero, colon, colon, 1. Okay. Now, uh, we have to write uh, the segment address of this network. It will be to B00 zero zero colon colon 60 slash 64. And this interface will take this interface, which is fast zero 01, will take colon one okay now our topology is ready to start the configuration of uh, uh, ibv6 okay so i'm going to start this appliance then go to console okay if you see now the chemo vnc viewer console is set up to uh, access the appliance and do the configuration. Actually, for me at least, I don't want to use this console because uh, I got used with the Tilnet console, so I'm going to change it. Stop, then go to configuration. Here, in the general setting, just change the console type to the telnet option then ok start it again then go to console but you see it might not work ok it seems that it is stuck here and it does not work. Sometimes you get this error, so we are going to fix it. There are some steps I will do, but first let me change it back to the VNC type, I mean the console type, then OK. stop then start okay then go to console okay now the chem the chemo vnc setup i will start the appliance it took some time to boot Remember, we changed the console type to Telnet, but we got some error, and we are going to uh, fix this error by uh, writing some uh, commands. Okay, now we need to enable it. Empty password. Then we need to copy this file from disk 0 colon slash core dump info slash core dump dot cfg to disk 0 colon slash use underscore tty as capital zero yes the source file name is same destination file name is same okay now 
the file has been copied okay then we write just to save the configuration then copy another file which is a start up dash config we need it into disk zero colon slash start up config the destination file name yes okay we copied this file then config terminal okay now we should execute this command which is boot config disk zero colon disk zero colon slash startup dash config okay then copy running config disk zero colon slash start up colon co sorry dash config we need to copy the running config into this folder then okay destination and source file the same uh, yes confirm that's all okay now reload so if we can see here we executed yes three copy commands and one boot config command then we save the configuration then uh, at the end we should uh, execute the reload command yes yes sorry yes now rebooting the software the appliance okay now we can close it then stop it here then go to configuration change the console type into telnet okay start the appliance then console you will get the telnet console our friend actually now loading the configuration is started okay that is good okay now our topology our configuration and our uh, asa appliance is ready to the configuration thank you for watching see you in the next video